I just built this little remote control um, for the RC car. It's uh, it uses 2.4 gigahertz. Um, this module right here, there's an Arduino uh, that's reading the potentiometers. This should really be a, um, a joystick, but for right now I have a forward, backwards, and then um, left and right. Which makes it a little bit fun to try to find the, um, the center the uh, position where these things do not move. Um, there's a little uh, phone battery on the back, little uh, lithium polymer uh, battery charger module there. Uh, the transceivers are identical. So one is just programmed to receive, this one's programmed to transmit. They can do um, I can get data back from this if I program it to do so, but got the I've got this Arduino is just set up for the um, receiving the signal, and then there's two analog wires that go. It's pulse width modulation, but it's um, it's filtered with just capacitors. It's 330 microfarad capacitors seems to do the trick, um, and. You see this wire wrapped around it? That's a ground wire, which um, helped out a lot before. It's still jittery. You see how much it's jumping? It's probably just the capacitance in these wires right here. But wrapping that one wire around really helped. And this is the drive, um, the motor driving Arduino. So it breaks up the analog signals and does the computation on what um, what wheel gets what current. And these are the VNH30SP2 uh, stepper motor drivers, but they work really great for driving these. All right, so let's put it down on the ground and see what it does. A little space for it. Like I said, this should really be um, just a thumb, just like a one uh, joystick, so forward, backwards, left, right, but I don't have one of those right now. But I was really curious what it would be like to drive something with two uh, rotary potentiometers. Seems like it's, uh, it's doing okay. No real in intuition of which way to move it. I just have to get a feel for it. Okay, cool.